Well, if you're younger than 21, you'll no longer be able to buy any tobacco products in San Antonio. The ordinance goes into effect October 1st. So we wanted to find out what kind of impact a law like that would make here in Austin. KVU's Patrick Perez spoke to a smoke shop manager who's concerned that it'll cost them money, but a doctor says it'll save lives in the long run. The signs are everywhere at Smoke and Chill in East Austin. You must be 18 or older to buy tobacco products. But San Antonio's new ordinance, which raises the age from 18 to 21, could set an example for other Texas cities. We're definitely going to lose money on it because that's a portion of the population that come in to buy stuff. Store manager Robert Bannister says while an ordinance like San Antonio's would be a good step forward for Austin, smoke shops and convenience stores could lose some money. Probably about 35% of my population is going to be about that. It's all small purchases, but sometimes they do come in and buy bigger things, and that's definitely going to cut into profits. Dr. Phil Huang with Austin Public Health supports a law that would make it harder for teens to buy tobacco products, like your old-fashioned cigarettes and e-cigs, which can be just as addicting. That period between 18 and 21 is where a lot of uh, experimental tobacco use and smoking turns into actual uh, you know, consistent usage. Some 30 year old doesn't wake up one morning and say, hey, I want to start smoking cigarettes. He says tobacco use remains the number one preventable cause of death and disease. And 95% of smokers start by the age of 21. If you get them past that age, uh, then they don't really uh, take it up. And uh, but then it becomes a lifelong addiction. But even with the change in the law, Bannister says 18, 19, and 20 year olds will still find a way to smoke tobacco. I started smoking when I was younger than that. So, I mean, even restricting it age wise isn't really going to solve the issue. You can try to make it harder. Um, but overall, they're still, personally, kids are going to get their hands on it. And East Austin, Patrick Perez, KVU News Night Beat.